Hey guys, welcome to another video, um, another one actually about Excel, and this one I'll be discussing something I didn't discuss before, and that is the item set conditional formatting for icons. Now, I previously spoke about conditional formatting when it comes to numbers and letters and things of that nature. So what you're looking at right now is a typical spreadsheet. I actually made this spreadsheet from scratch. Uh, it contains uh, fictional product numbers, a gross return dollar amount, and a net return dollar amount. So I pre-made this sheet just by throwing some random numbers, say I own some company and I have this data set. This is a very common data set I've seen um, that a lot of people are using uh, formulas and things of that nature with. So I've, I've explained in previous videos, if you watch my other videos, you'd see that you can actually go to highlight cell rules and conditional formatting, which is on your ribbon, and you could choose highlight only items that are greater than $100. And what that would do is it would highlight all the items in the spreadsheet that are greater than $100. See, 100 is not greater than 100, therefore it's still in white, but anything greater than 100 is now changed. Um, and I've always, also, sorry, I've also showed you that you're able to do conditional formatting based on cells that are either less than or in between two numbers. Say you want to see everything that's between 100 and 200 equal to. And then, of course, you have text that contains recurring data and, of course, duplicate values. But we're not going to talk about that today. Today, we're going to talk about icon sets, a very, very cool uh, thing that Excel has that I wanted to just teach you guys. So when we're looking at uh, any, that any, any, almost any field, as a matter of fact, and we're going to look at our gross return, actually. I'm going to leave net return alone. I just made it for another example. But in gross return, I'm going to click on conditional formatting. I'm going to click on icon sets, and I'm going to select these uh, shapes, and I'm going to select these three little icons over here, the green, the yellow, and the red. And once I select that, immediately something happened on my spreadsheet. There's all these icons next to all these numbers, but they have no meaning yet. We're going to click on conditional formatting one more time, and we're going to click on manage rules. So when we selected this formatting, we actually created a rule, but we haven't yet given it any definition. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit this rule. We're going to click on it and choose Edit Rule. And now it's going to be able to tell us, all right, um, when would you like to choose this rule? When do you want this rule to take effect? So this actually works on different data types, uh, such as percent formula, percentile. But this time we're going to be using it on numbers because we're using currency or a dollar amount. And this is very, very simple. Um, you have three icons to play with. You have the green, the yellow, or the red. Alternatively, you can actually change that. You can make it something like symbols, because the same thing. They have really, really cool little icons here. They have little flags and statistics and arrows and all kinds of cool stuff. Um, actually, I like the arrows better. Maybe we should use the arrows. Let's see. Okay, so here is our icons, which we're using. We can even use separate icons if we want arrows and like a mix and match. And here is our actual verbal math formula over here. So it says here, when the icon is green, right, when the value is either greater than or equal to a certain number. So if it's greater than or equal to 1000, make it green showing that we made some money. Okay. And when it's less than 1000, but greater or equal to, let's say, 500, say yellow, you know, we made some money. And if it's less than a thousand, as soon as you click out of this field, it's going to show it to you. If it's less than a thousand, we lost some money. So I'm going to click on OK now and apply this rule. And you can see right away how my formatting went. Now, see all the red here? All the red here just indicates that a lot of my items, a lot of my inventory did not sell for over a thousand. Um, Kind of a, a crappy spreadsheet, if you ask me, because I actually went bankrupt just now looking at this. But, you know, it kind of visually gives you real good perspective. So you could see right here all the items that I actually lost on because they have this little red yellow on the very left of them, indicating that we have went under 500. And anything between 500 and 1,000 has this yellow icon showing that we moderately made some money. And then, of course, anything with 1,000 and above, we have this green icon showing our growth. Now I can highlight this whole thing, click on Filter and Sort, choose Custom Sort, and sort column B, which is my gross return column, by cell icon, and click on the green order, and, uh, and the order of green on top. And by doing that, we could immediately see everything that we made 
uh, money on and here's all the products which sold for over a thousand dollars I'm easily able to tell okay all these products got it going on they all sold over a thousand now if I want to make this even more neater I could just go to custom sort and add another level and say sort it again by gross return by cell icon and put the yellow next on top and what that's going to do is just going to sort it in nice order for me showing me the other products which had sold for uh, anything between 500 and um, 1,000. So these are the other items that are actually pretty good. Now, I like the whole icon thing. I haven't really used it in other examples. Pretty much, I, I just use the whole um, highlight uh, conditional formula and highlight cells um, where the uh, number is uh, greater than, let's say, um, 1,000. And, of course, you can use multiple conditional rule formulas, so you can actually play with this and do, like, a lot of marvelous things, you know, and tear this data apart. But the main focus of this video, what I wanted to show you guys, is this icon and, and data sets. Let me just undo this last change, and let's go back to um, into conditional formatting. Let's go back to manage rules, and let's edit this rule again. And let's say if it's over a 1,000 give it uh, I don't know, I'm just gonna change the icon real quick. Do I have a green arrow going up? Yeah, I do. And if it's between, let's say we are kind of starting to go down a little bit, and if it's uh, below, we're gonna make it show a little exclamation mark and we'll apply those rules. And you could see how Excel immediately apply those rules and change the icons. So that's really wanted to, what I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to show you how to use this uh, because I, I had questions about that before. Like, hey, how come you showed people how to do this but you didn't show them about the icon sets because it looks pretty cool and we don't know how to use them. Well, now you do. Um, it's really cool. Remember, manage rules and just edit the rule and you can format cells based on specific things. You can actually choose different uh, modifiers here. You know, greater or equal to or just greater than or um, just less than. And we have a custom icon style set here that I just changed it. That's why it's custom. I can make it show um, uh, these particular numbers. Check it out. Let's apply this. Wham! Look how cool this is. Yeah, we're still losing a lot of money. <laughs> um, so yeah, so here, let me go back to conditional formatting, back to manage rules, and uh, edit this rule again. It's really cool stuff here. You could reverse column order. You could just show icon only, apply and OK, and that'll remove the value and just show you icons instead. <laughs> it's very, very cool and nice to play with. But So if you watch this video now and, and something you haven't known before, now at least you know that in Excel you could do something like uh, append these cool little icons based on a formula. Uh, and you can apply it when you're dealing with percents, uh, percentiles, um, and numbers. Uh, that's it. That's what I wanted to show you guys. Pretty cool video, right? It's a pretty cool feature to know. Um, it's something a lot of people don't know. Like in my job, a lot of people who use Excel, they're not familiar with this particular cool thing. Uh, and sometimes I, I like to make my reports a little spiffy and I add things like this to them and people are like, oh, wow, how'd you do that? So I said, hey, you know, let me make a video about this. <laughs> in any event, thank you very much um, uh, for watching. I uh, received a lot of, uh, I just changed my channel art, by the way. I put that subscribe button up there. A lot of people subscribed, actually. It's very cool, very nice of you guys. Um, and thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you come back, and I'm going to find some more awesome content. And if you have any questions or content suggestions, something you'd like to me to um, make a video about, just post it in the comments below. Or email me, or just go to the information tab of my channel. You have all my contact information there, my website, my email, my LinkedIn, all that good stuff. So thank you very much. Until next time, see you guys later. Bye.